2024 Toyota GR Corolla. Uh, I have some friends in Japan that have sent me some parts uh, to update it from my current model year 2023 GR Corolla. Um, interestingly, it's a couple of hardware bolts and nuts, and I have two pairs of aluminum stickers literally just peel off, stick on aluminum sheets that are going to be applied behind the front and rear bumper and that's supposed to improve straight line stability so I'm going to go ahead and install these uh, parts today and take it out for a quick spin and see what actually changes these are the update parts see some hardware new ducting and the mysterious aluminum tape that i'm going to be attaching onto the underside of the bumpers front and rear yeah he sent me inst installation manual both english and japanese this is i'm assuming for the front that's the rear we'll go ahead and start updating my corolla This is the old one, this is the new one. There's a little bit of a design difference on the end of the bolt. The bolt heads are different. The new one's a 24 millimeter head, the old one's a 22 mil. But other than that, I actually don't know what the difference is. I'm sure there's some kind of unexplainable magic uh, that's going on with this new hardware. We'll go ahead and uh, swap it out. Here's a better view of the two bolts uh, on the right side right here. We have the model year 23 bolt. It's a 22 millimeter head and it's got some sort of like a uh, taper in the, in the beginning of the threads as well as a few notches. And the updated hardware is a 24 millimeter head and it uh, doesn't have as much of a taper. All right, moving on to the front now. I got the car up slightly on ramps. And uh, this replaces the steering rack bolts. Right here, this one. It's a 19 mil head and there's a nut under. All right, so I got the old one out. I have a new one. I honestly do not know a difference. To the other side. All right, sorry it's a little loud in here, um, but I just got the bumper ducting to the wheel well off. Uh, it's just held on by one clip, but some of the noticeable differences. This is the one that I just took out, and if you notice, there's a little lip right here, so that kind of restricts a little bit of the airflow. The new one, there is no lip. Uh, well, there's a lip, but it's not angled in, so there's a bigger opening smoother airflow but yeah, you can kind of tell visually that the left side or the updated one has a bigger opening for more airflow mine is a circuit edition so it has a cover right here but i'm gonna go ahead and pop that out the piece sticks to this guy you can kind of push from the back side this top will start to peel off and the bottom side is just held on by double-sided tape at the top side are clips you just kind of force that off and then you'll have a nice hole for the ducting, uh, which is right here. This piece is simply just kind of sandwiched in between the bumper and the, the wheel well ducting right there, which I uh, replaced with the updated one. So we'll go ahead and uh, put the back. The inside of the bumper, they supply these aluminum strip tapes where you start marking the driver's side. Uh, these are the dimensions. And what it's supposed to do is, actually, I have no idea. I don't know how it's supposed to work. Add aluminum tape and it will improve straight line stability and steering response. So, so I did a little bit of research on what the aluminum tapes actually do. I tried to get a hold of my buddy over at Toyota Japan, but I didn't want to wait for his response so I went ahead and did a little bit of digging around and what I found out was that 
this technology or this concept was actually adopted as early as 2015 uh, by a Toyota engineer and he found that aluminum actually reduces the amount of positively charged electrostatic uh, in the surrounding areas which thus improves the airflow and it improves uh, aerodynamics. Uh, it actually all started with the uh, the 86 chassis, the ZN6, uh, not the GR86, but when the 86 went through a minor change uh, back in 2016, the concept was adopted and they found that it improved uh, airflow around the vehicle. Well, that's a cool fact. Uh, and now they actually have this aluminum tape applied in numerous Toyota vehicles and in 2024 model year GR Corollas, these will come standard. Also available for 2023 model year. I definitely feel an improvement, especially at high speeds on the freeway. I do feel like the car feels more planted and in a weird way heavier, but not obviously physically adding weight, but just more stable. So there is a positive effect. I'm sure you guys would notice the difference as well. It's only been a few days since I installed these parts and uh, yeah, the difference was huge. So good job, Toyota. Uh, hopefully uh, I get to spend a lot more time in this car during the off season. I swear IMT is like the best thing created. so much but downshift rev match without doing heel toe <laughs> kind of like cheating actually changing my driving or really putting an emphasis on keeping it on eco mode having an increase of 0.4 mpgs is actually quite huge i think that's due to the improved aerodynamics all right i just got back from the uh, test drive uh, back to my shop and uh, as small as the updates were consisting of some hardware bolts for the front and rear subframe uh, the ducting for the front bumper and the magical aluminum tape it is a significantly noticeable difference, especially at speed on the highway. So yeah, it's a well worthwhile update for the model year 24 GR Corollas. I don't know if they're gonna be available for sale. I know I mentioned it earlier in the video that they're gonna be available for model year 23, but uh, the part numbers should be available soon. Uh, if this is something that interests you guys, go ahead and hit up your local Toyota dealership. Next up on the list for my GR Corolla, our fluids. I'm going to be approaching the 5,000 mile marker soon, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, flush out the entire car with Moti's goodies. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.